technical knowledge and extensive production know-how regarding these highly conductive materials. And again, uh, <clears throat> you know, driven, driven by numerous advantages offered by electrically uh, conducting uh, polymers, the U.S. market is, is still, you know, up around that, uh, you know, big number that we mentioned previously. And in, and in essence, uh, you're, you're getting, uh, you know, a pretty overall market of something like uh, 230 million pounds of conductive materials. And, uh, and a key component of that, a good 10, uh, 10 to 20 percent, uh, that'd be a good, uh, you know, a good uh, 10 percent of that is really truly inherently conductive material. So again, they're, they're growing at 30 to 35 percent, uh, annualized growth rates. Uh, in comparison to traditionally conducted thermoplastics, which are doing quite well at a little under 9 percent growth rate. So, the, these trends won't really change uh, dramatically. So again, a very strong uh, market. <clears throat> when you look at conductive filled thermoplastics, uh, uh, you're getting into uh, a whole host of uh, you know focus points that we mentioned. This is just a good summary slide on that. And electrically uh, uh, conductive uh, thermoplastic compounds made from resins and modified with conductive additives include you know carbon based powders and fibers, metal based solids, you know, and coatings come out of that. All polymerics are, are considered the ICPs. Uh, <clears throat> and again, the uh, increasing modifier content on, on average will reduce the interparticle separation distance and improve, improve conductivity. <clears throat> if you get into the critical loading and filled conductive polymers, uh, you're dealing with uh, <clears throat> loadings with 30, 40, 50 percent by volume conductive filler to achieve desired conductivity. But what happens there is it may, uh, it may uh, concurrently uh, severely degrade the mechanical properties of the material. <clears throat> the aspect ratio, that's really just merely the particle length to width. But uh, spheroidal or spherical in nature, conductive 